A bill that would have made it illegal for children to possess crossbows dies in the House of Representatives. News 9's Aaron Brilbeck is covering the Capitol. If the bill is named for 10-year-old Austin Almanza of Chandler, who was killed when a 13-year-old allegedly shot him with a crossbow given to him by his mother just a day earlier, that 13-year-old is now charged with murder. Austin's family was in the House gallery when the bill failed. Having failed to receive majority vote like to the Constitution, I declare the bill to have failed. Austin Almanza's family had a hard time keeping their composure when the bill failed. They say it just doesn't make sense. It should be against the law for you to give your kids weapons to go play with. She bought that weapon and gave it to him. He killed my grandson the next day with it. Police say the 13-year-old had been fighting with Almanza when he shot the arrow. The 13-year-old tells police he was hunting and this was just an accident. The bill would have made it illegal for a child to possess a crossbow unless it was being used for hunting or training. Opponents say that would make it a tough case to prosecute. And it also has language that makes it impossible for a district attorney to prosecute and get a conviction of this. Why would we do that? But as a district attorney, if you have a statute and you're telling me that you cannot prosecute someone for violating a statute, I think maybe we need to look for a new DA. Austin's family says they're not giving up. I don't want this to happen to somebody else's family, but we can do something maybe in the future to keep it from happening to anybody else. Representative Wallace can bring the bill back up before March 15th, so he has 10 days to get his colleagues to change their minds. He says he'll only bring the bill back up to the floor again if he believes there are enough votes to get it passed. We're live on the scene on the story at the state capitol. Aaron Brolbeck, News 9.